Hi, this is Douglas Dennis, founder of Winning International Inc. Today I'm here with my wife, Unbin. Hi, I'm Unbin. And we're going to talk about affirmations and why they sometimes don't work, don't get you a result, and how you should really use them and the science behind affirmations. It's not just wishful thinking. There is a science behind this. Unbin, what are some examples of affirmations that you might have seen on the internet or that people might use that don't get a result? Um, I see a lot of people doing affirmation saying like, I'm rich, I'm a millionaire, and something like that, and that doesn't work for some people. And I, all, I used to say that to myself, and it didn't get me the result that I was looking for. Can you suggest something better than just saying, I'm a millionaire? Well, when you say, I'm a millionaire, you dip down that you know that you're not. So that's why it doesn't work. Because you're lying to yourself. It's not, uh, it's not truth. You're, you're telling yourself that you're a millionaire and you know that you're not. So it's not really, it doesn't really do any good to you. So if you want to have more wealth and use the affirmation as a part of your journey, you need to understand how your mind works and this book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind explains how the affirmations really work and it says you need to have an image of what you desire so if you're saying I'm a millionaire to yourself and you know, tip down that you don't. It's not true. It's n it's not gonna work. So you should say just to yourself, repeat wealth, and have an image of wealth in your mind. Like focus on it, like for five minutes or ten minutes before bed, and upon waking up, and you should be emotionally involved with the, that word. So if, if the wealth is what you want, say wealth out loud and have an image of an wealth. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, somebody. It could be just some image of wealth. Like it could be a bunch of money, image of bunch of money. It could be nice cars that you see in your head, it could be anything, but but then you have to be emotionally involved with that word that you're repeating and should be focused when you do that. The other one that I would recommend to people to do is thank you father for my wealth. And this one is really really powerful because you are thankful and that's a really great feelings and it's an emotion so you're in emotionally involved and in saying out loud that you're thankful for it and it it works it got us some good result right yeah we i we started doing that and I think within maybe a day I had some significant results. Oh, I think we got offered a filming gig that was paying a pretty good amount and it's something that's fun. So it wasn't it wasn't some miserable thing to make money. It was actually something we're interested in and that paid more than we've made doing that kind of thing before so I was pretty happy with that <laughs> and um, right so I want to ask uh, to clarify what you said it's from what you said I gathered that 
if you say I'm a millionaire, then most likely you're emotionally involved in a lie uh, instead of being in a gratitude. Is that is that why deep down that that doesn't work? Because you said about the emotion is the important thing. So if you're lying, then your emotion is going to be maybe guilty or shameful mm -hmm. instead of grateful. Right. Okay. So if you're saying, like for me, if I say to myself, I'm a millionaire, it doesn't really come to me. Like, it doesn't feel right. But if you were to picture yourself as a millionaire instead... That mm -hmm. would work? That would work with emotion in, involved with that picture. So if you have the visualiz visualization of yourself, say, just as an example, in a really nice suit or in a Lamborghini or uh, checking your bank balance, and then at the same time you feel the reality of it, Mm -hmm. without that real feeling, without the belief or faith, it's basically garbage. Right. The belief and faith is what's important. Because if, if you say to yourself that you're a millionaire, you don't believe it truly. You don't truly believe that... Is true and it just doesn't work like that yeah and I tried that for a long time and I guess my emotional involvement was frustration mm -hmm. and then I felt like I'm saying it again but it's not but it's not happening still and then it became then like chasing a carrot it gets farther away every step it's always eluding me but if I just think, right. if I think thankful for the wealth, it's in my pocket already. And, and you feel good about it. You feel good about being thankful for your wealth. And you feel good about when you think of an image of wealth. You know, it's, it's like fulfilled feeling. But if you're saying just, I'm a millionaire, and you have mixed feelings about it. You want to be a millionaire. But you know that it's not true, and you know that it's not the right thing to say, and you know you feel guilty or frustrated. It's not. It's not good feeling. It's not. And empathizing then, those words. So then you could p potentially disbelieve any affirmation mm -hmm. just because of that one. Right. So I, this is probably happening to so many people. Because I've been studying psychology for about 15 years and I didn't fully understand this until I read the book you mentioned, Joseph Murphy's uh, book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And the way he explained it made total sense to me, but I had also kind of had a breakthrough from... Bob Proctor's work and from reading Think and Grow Rich. At that point, I had already read it nine or ten times. So by the time I finally found Joseph Murphy's book, I had a quite a good understanding of the power of your mind and self-suggestion or auto-suggestion, where there's a book called Auto-Suggestion from... Uh, the early 1900s or the late 1800s, and that's how long people have understood this. And actually, a lot of passages from the Bible are teaching how to do this, but they're widely misunderstood, and they're not used correctly. Maybe for someone thinking, I am a millionaire, could work if they really believed it, and if they really had a powerful imagination and a powerful vision of it, it could potentially work. 
but I tried it for a long time and it seemed like I was digging myself into a frustrated hole. But as soon as I started trying different affirmations like, thank you father for my wealth, or I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis, that one is also good because there's several parts of it. There's, and let me say that again a little bit slower if you want to write that down, because that's uh, amazing and powerful. I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. So first, the first part is I'm happy and grateful now. So there's two different emotions, happiness and gratefulness. Those are both really powerful and positive. So it starts off affirming a positive feeling even before mentioning what uh, the affirmation is about. So just, just walking around saying, I'm, ha I'm so happy and grateful now, that in and of itself is powerful. If you keep saying, I'm so happy and grateful now, and focus on those feelings, you can't be happy and depressed at the same time. Mm -hmm. You've got to be one or the other. You can't have a positive thought and a negative thought at the same moment. Right. So happiness, gratefulness, money coming to me in increasing quantities, which means no matter where you're at right now, this will work. Mm -hmm. No matter if you're making $5 an hour, no matter what you're making, this gives you the, the thankfulness that you're making that, and then the expectation that it's going to increase. Yeah. So, happiness, gratefulness, money coming to you in increasing quantities, which means you're always improving each and every day, which is uh, essential for success. If you're, you're either improving or you're going backwards, increasing quantities through multiple sources. And when I picture this, the important word for me is through, because wherever you're getting money from, you're not getting money directly from the Federal Reserve. You're getting money through someone. So if you have a job, let's say, and you have an employer, your employer isn't making the money, they're getting money from someone. So I imagine the employer paying you, but the employer got it from the customer, and the customer got it from their bank or their employer. So it comes through several different people before it even gets to you, which I think that gives a vision of abundance. Money is circulating. Money is not stagnant. Money is circulating through different people, which means goods and services are being exchanged, which gives the image of a good economy. Mm -hmm. If money is circulating, then the economy is healthy, just like blood through the body. If the blood isn't circulating well, there's going to be serious problems or even death. So there needs to be circulation. So money coming to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources. And then what the important thing about multiple sources is, if you're, if you're going to be successful, and this is a whole other subject I won't go too deep into right now, but if you're going to be successful, you're going to need multiple sources of income. Put yourself in a better position by learning about multiple sources of income. And I have a bunch of other videos. Um, check out a video I have called Make Money While You Sleep. So, I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me through multiple sources, uh, in increasing quantities, through multiple sources and the final part, on a continuous basis, which means 
that's really the idea of wealth. So Robert Kiyosaki talks about wealth is not measured in money, it's measured in time. So the way to measure your wealth is how many months, if you quit working today, how many days, weeks, months, years could you live off of whatever you have, either income, passive income you have coming in or savings, whatever it is. That's how you measure wealth. That's a whole lot of info on just that one affirmation, but think about if you created an affirmation like that that's so well constructed and if you said it over and over to yourself then you get the feelings you get the visual images of the money exchanging hands and the continuous basis that there's going to be more tomorrow it gives you a feeling of security and satisfaction and that's really what you want you could have affirmations about your health we can change gears because it's not all about making money, of course. It's just, uh, those are some good ones that we've had some results with recently. So the important things are the belief. If you're feeling conflicted about the wording of your affirmation, you need to reword it so that you feel good about it and so that you have a vision to go along with it. If you have any questions about this, I encourage you to write a comment below and get some conversation going with other people about this because uh, there are some amazing people that are subscribed to our channel and there, I know specifically there's a few people that do use affirmations and do get positive results from it. So Unbin, I'm gonna give it back to you and what could you tell people that might be listening that don't understand why affirmations work when they do work? Because there's a lot of skeptical people out there. I used to be really skeptical. I understand what lies behind this. So what could you tell someone who's just finding out about affirmations and they're kind of confused about why this would get them any physical result mm -hmm. in their life? Right. Why affirmations work is because affirmation is basically reconditioning recon your state of mind. So the results you have right now is what you believe that you can have in your subconscious mind. And if you want something better than what you have, you have to believe that you can have what you want better than right now. You can earn more money than you're earning right now, that you can have better relationship than right now, or whatever it is that you want. So you need to reprogram your subconscious mind by repeating certain sentences over and over again and reconditioning your mind that you can that you believe that you can have this and that you can have more money you can have better relationship you can be happy you can be promoted you can make more sales whatever that it, it is that you want you have to believe that it is possible first Brian Tracy says that in order to make a sale, as a salesperson, you have to make a sale in your mind first. So you have to see the picture in your mind that you did it, you do it, and then you can do it in real life. So if you focus on the thoughts that you can, you have more money, you have a better relationship, you get promoted, you get a new house, you get a new car, whatever it is, you need to think in your mind first before you get the real physical results. So everything existing in the world started from someone's thinking. So whatever you're wearing right now, clothes, shoes, or a bag, 
refrigerators, chairs, everything, it was someone's idea. Someone thought of it to make it, and you're wearing it or you're using it. So, in order to have what you desire, you need to think of what you want and you need to believe that it's going to work, it's going to be come true, it's, 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 it's possible for you to do it. So that's why the affirmation work is because it's reconditioning your belief system and having faith in yourself and that it's going to work that is gonna make it happen. It's your thinking that's gonna make it happen. Nothing else. Without thinking, it's not going to work. So affirmation is basically making it stronger every time when you say it or when you repeat it inside or out loud. It makes a stronger image and clear, more clear image in your head and that's gonna get you closer to your goal and your desire. Well put. So I hope that you're getting a lot out of this. I really like that, that everything in the world around you, just if you look around wherever you're at, everything that was created was created two times. First in the person's mind, and then in the physical reality. So if you can truly understand what Unbin just talked about, you'll understand why you also need the belief. Because if you say something over and over that you don't believe, all you're going to get is what you were thinking of, which was that you don't believe. So then your new result is going to be not believing. And it's not, nothing good's going to happen from that. So it's not just the words. It's, you've got to have the faith. That's what really makes it magic. So the Wright brothers had faith that they could fly. Can you imagine? No one has ever flown before. And they were trying to fly. That, so whatever kind of goal that you have probably pales in comparison to that. Or a modern day, let's take uh, Elon Musk, who founded Tesla and PayPal. So he wants to go to Mars and he's trying to make private flights into outer space. So that should inspire us that our goals are probably pretty small, but I can guarantee that he believes that it's possible, and I guarantee that he talks about it all the time, and works on it all the time. So if you can focus on whatever you want, and keep affirming it to yourself all the time, the more you do it, the stronger it's going to be, and the stronger your belief is, the less likely you're going to quit when you come against roadblocks like people making fun of you. Um, if you're inventing something, maybe it fails to work. There's all kinds of different obstacles. But if we, if we believe in ourselves and believe that it's going to happen, then no roadblock can stop us. So if you do get discouraged, think about the Wright brothers, think about Elon Musk, think about someone who inspires you, and they must have a really strong belief in what they're going after, or else you wouldn't even have heard of them before. I hope you get a lot of value from this. Comment below if you have an uh, affirmation that you, gets you really good results. Our other viewers would benefit from seeing it. And as always, have an amazing day on purpose. I'm Douglas Dennis, and thank you to my wife for giving her point of view. I hope that both of us 
giving you a little bit different of a spin on this subject uh, gives you a better understanding. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you next time. Peace.